Mortality rates are seen as a key indicator to how countries are dealing with the coronavirus pandemic. Take a look at this chart comparing the mortality rates of people infected with COVID-19 in various European countries. So why, compared to elsewhere, are so few of the Germans diagnosed with coronavirus dying? Here are the main theories. Testing. Aside from getting people diagnosed and on appropriate treatment, testing is helping us establish how widespread the virus actually is. German health officials say they began testing people even with milder symptoms relatively early on, meaning people with less serious infections may make up more of the confirmed cases in Germany than elsewhere. In Deutschland wurde von Anfang an vergleichsweise breit getestet. Deshalb haben wir den Erreger früh entdeckt. Und wir entdecken auch viele milde Fälle dadurch, die man sonst vielleicht nicht gefunden hätte. Außerdem sind in Deutschland bislang noch nicht so viele alte Menschen erkrankt. Das ist auch ein Fakt, der sich in den Todeszahlen und den Altersschwankungen darstellt. But at present, not all countries are testing in the same ways. The differences between countries' approaches may account for some differences in the mortality rates. Italy or Spain's rates, for example, might be lower if a broader cross-section of the population were being tested. Ich bin mir aber relativ sicher, wenn man die ähm, ganze Infektionsgeschehen, das ganze Infektionsgeschehen im Nachhinein auswerten wird, wird man auch in den anderen Ländern eine deutlich niedrigere Sterberate pro, pro Fall oder pro, pro Infizierte äh, finden, weil man dann einfach eben auch die milden und asymptomatischen Verläufe mitzählend äh, und äh, das beeinflusst natürlich die Sterberate. Healthcare Capacity In the race to respond to the virus, countries in Europe did not begin on an even footing. According to data from the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, Germany has six acute care beds for every 1,000 people, compared to France's 3.1, Italy's 2.6, and Britain's 2.1. In total, Germany also has around 28,000 intensive care beds, about two and a half times more than Italy. Arguably, that's given Germany an advantage in coping with severe COVID-19 cases. Of course, a huge difference now is if you go to certain regions in Italy or in Spain or in France, there is a certainly um, the healthcare system is, is not functioning properly and uh, physicians have to make a decision on the ventilation machines or not. And obviously this will then steeply increase the number of people uh, who die. And Germany uh, so far has not reached its limits. Outbreak timeline. In terms of the outbreak, it's believed the virus spread in Italy sooner than in other European countries, possibly due to the northern Italian textile industry's strong economic ties to China. Italy began seeing significant transmission of the illness some two weeks before Germany, meaning the virus has had more time to spread and for a greater number of serious infections to run their course in patients. Italien hat gerade Norditalien eine sehr enge wirtschaftliche Verbindung zu China und ich kann mir durchaus vorstellen, dass äh, auch wenn insgesamt die Flugreisen, die Direktflüge nach China sehr schnell ähm, unterbrochen worden sind, dass trotzdem ein, ein reger Austausch auch, auch an Personen stattgefunden hat und dass letztendlich dann ähm, dort es eben zu diesem Ausbruchsgeschehen kam. Meanwhile, the pathogen in Germany was detected early on and is thought to have been transmitted among a less susceptible segment of the population. According to the Robert Koch Institute, while the average age of those who have tested positive in Italy hangs around 63, the average age in Germany is 47 years old. Experts believe many of Germany's initial cases came from skiers returning from ski holiday in Austria and Italy. Von dort haben, denke ich, auch sehr viele das Virus mitgebracht. Und ähm, insgesamt haben wir da dementsprechend wahrscheinlich auch einen, einen etwas erhöhten Anteil in der jungen Bevölkerung. Tatsächlich liegt äh, die, die Hauptkategorie, wo wir testen, im Alter äh, zwischen 35 und 59. Cultural differences. Another theory suggests that Italy's higher death rate is linked to a higher rate of infection among older people. After all, the virus appears to carry a greater risk of death for older patients. And the spread among Italy's elderly population could relate to living norms. UN figures show that in Italy, several generations living under one roof is more common than in Germany. 27% of Italians over 60 live with their children, a percentage 4.5 times higher than Germany's. 
So whether it's due to Germany's testing capabilities, its healthcare capacity, the timeline of the outbreak, or cultural differences that have resulted in a slower spread among the elderly, mortality rates due to COVID-19 in Germany remain comparatively low for now. Experts stress, however, that the epidemic appears to be far from over, and much of the data on COVID-19 cases remains very incomplete.